Hey buddies, Sonot's Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to be teaching you something a little bit interesting. Not that everything we teach isn't interesting, of course. Um, but this one, this one is interesting. All right, so we are in the Lost Cities. We have lots of scary things running around. And if you've been to the Lost Cities before, you are familiar with the fact that there is a debuff called Fear of levels 2 and level 3, which pretty much stop you from doing anything with right click at, at all. Um, Fear level 2 will stop you from uh, do, using anything right click like a scroll or drinking a potion or eating food. Uh, or drawing back a bow. However, Fear 2 will still allow you to interact with blocks. You can still pick up stuff, I believe. Uh, and you can still, like, open chests uh, or pick locks as well. But Fear 3 stops you from being able to do anything at all. Anything at all with right click. So let's just uh, let's just jump into survival really quickly. Does this guy give us fear? I feel like he probably does. And we're survival. And we didn't get fear from him. And we didn't get back to creative either. Lovely. So, who's going to give us fear here? Who's going to... Here, this guy. This is the one that I had saved for the fear. This guy should give us fear. There we go. So, we've got fear three. And back to creative. And we're unable to use this. You say it says you're panicking in the bottom. That's what it says. So, you can't use anything with the right click right now. It just says you're panicking. So, if you brought a, a scroll to kind of escape... Uh, with at some point or another, uh, you're not going to be able to use that. So, what we're talking about today is silver armor. Silver armor and the armor set bonus from using it. And you see in the bottom there, plus 50% movement speed and immunity. It has the, it gives you the potion effect cure, which literally stops all negative effects, including fear. So, this is the reason why you might want to use silver armor in Lost Cities. But there are a couple of things, because obviously it's quite low on the locational armor. Um, and there are some things to think about when using silver armor to avoid fear in the Lost Cities. And it's definitely, it's definitely something that can work. It's definitely worth, I've spent a lot of time in Lost Cities and it is really annoying with the fear effect. You know, you, you have mobs on different floors, you're just trying to open a chest. There's nothing around you, the mobs are on the, like, the floor above or floor below. But you still can't open the chest or pick the lock or pick up your, you know, whatever the case may be. So fear can be really annoying. So this is why you might want to use silver. With regards to enchants, um, I haven't put on the stuff that you like need for, like for water, like respiration, because you don't really go in water in the Lost Cities. So it's just basic stuff. Uh, if you want to know the best enchants in the game, I made an armor enchanting guide. You can check that out. It's basically the same. Um, in terms of weapon, the silver armor will give you a benefit to using silver weapons. You get plus 50% attack speed if you're using a silver weapon, but the silver uh, versus a, say, flamed dragon bone pike, because parasites are weak to flame, although you can put supreme flame on silver, but just the damage difference, I don't think the attack speed is worth. I think hitting harder in single attacks is slightly better than having faster attacks here anyway. So, a weapon, pretty much any weapon will work. You could do, you know, whatever weapon you want to use. This is about the armor specifically. In terms of baubles, we'll talk about baubles really quickly because this is something that's a little bit different from what I would normally do. Will I be murdered? Yeah, these guys are going to come for me. Um, so, let's go somewhere where we're not going to get murdered immediately, hopefully. So, I can just show you my baubles at least. Lovely. So, baubles. Now, with the baubles, I've given these traits of armored. Because the armor, uh, the silver armor is lacking armor, I have the second quality, or the trait that I, is what I call it, uh, armored. So it's armored plus two armor for each individual piece. Uh, so that's 14 extra armor, uh, and I believe that's spread across. So we're getting 3.5 extra armor per piece, I believe. I think it's spread, not each, so it shouldn't be 14 armor each. I think it's spread. Uh, but I've gone for armored to make up for the armor damage difference here. You ca could, of course, go with hardy for the extra hearts. I'm not sure whether having extra hearts or am extra damage mitigation is going to be better for you. Um, and finally, anytime you go to a lost city, whatever armor you're using, whatever the situation, you want to buff up. So battle burrito, you know, explorer's risotto, whatever the case may be, and then pop a couple of wild berry wine to get them maxed out to rank three. And then pop a bunch of regular wine to increase the duration of the buffs. I've made a wine guide, guys. I talk about wine all the time. It's absolutely insanely good. I mean, look at all those buffs. Look how long they last. So, anytime you go to the Lost Cities, wine is key. But now, 
we're still in survival. Now we can go out and we can go go find that same mob that we had. And we will no longer get fear. We no longer get fear. We can use our right clicks. We could use this bound scroll if we wanted to. Uh, which is pretty fantastic uh, when you haven't been able to do so when in the Lost Cities. Now, the main concern with Silver Armor is its lack of durability. Its lack of durability is the main problem here. So if we let these guys hit, a, hit us a couple of times, and this is just a couple of basic dudes, we see our durability starting to get chunked quite quickly. Our health is okay. You know, we've got so many buffs that our health is okay. But the second one of these armor pieces breaks, we got hit hard there. Yeah, our feet are already almost broken. We're lucky we haven't been in the head, hit in the head. But our uh, our legs are pretty much, or our feet are pretty much broken already. Let's see if we can get hit in the head here. So d the durability is just going down really quickly. Again, we're, we're fine, comfortable. We have lots of buffs, we have lots of armor. We should be fine with regards to that. I'm really surprised we're not getting hit in the head more. There are a couple of mobs that I've fought in the end cities that literally broke my head or or while testing with silver armor, could have broken my helmet in like two shots. So just a little bit of fighting here. Uh, can we get out of here? Just a little bit of fighting here. Our boots are now broken. Already they're broken. Okay, so this is the main concern. Now I've been running around like an absolute idiot, obviously. You guys won't be doing this. You guys will be killing everything that's around. You'll be getting experience for killing things. So your advanced mending is gonna be helping you out here. Your advanced mending is going to be putting in a lot of work to keep your armor, but it's just going to be after, you know, each fight, or even if in the middle of a fight, just double check. If you're in the middle of a fight, just back away, you'll have speed, back away, check your armor, durability's back up because of experience. Good, I can go back in and keep fighting. But if you fight, if you get hit by a big mob, uh, you know, you want to back off, check your durabilities. Okay, cool, Dur durability's fine. If your helmet breaks or your chest piece breaks, you're pretty much going to be dead. So. And I now can't jump because I've uh, as high because I don't have the um, double jump ability on my boots because my boots broke and and all these little things. Oh, and I don't have the fear uh, immunity anymore because obviously one of my armor pieces broken. So I feel like I say so a lot recently. That is essentially that, guys. Um, I hope all of that made sense. The beauty of this is obviously you can loot freely, and like I said, the most frustrating things are when you're in the Lost Cities, you have mobs on different floors, you're just trying to open the chests after you've cleared a floor, but you can't do that, so you gotta go down, clear the floor below you, and then go back up to loot the chests, and it's all just a way, uh, kind of annoying. As you saw, we didn't really take too much damage, we're pretty comfortable, we have a lot of buffs, we have a lot of armor from the bobble traits, um, so it's just the durability which is an issue. Uh, you also get a lot of experience bottles. Side note, I just thought of, you get a lot of experience bottles in the Lost Cities chests. Um, so, you know, you keep a stack of experience bottles on you. Run away from a fight if your armor gets low, throw a couple experience bottles, repair your armor, and then get back to the action. That's also a good note. Lots of, I literally have in my SMP server, I've got like three stacks of experience potions just from looting Lost Cities. So, uh, yeah, definitely something to consider. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I go live on my Twitch channel pretty much every day, except Monday and Friday, I usually take four editing days. I also run an SMP server, an RLCraft 2.9 SMP server. Y'all are welcome to join. All you gotta do is jump on the Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. Earn 3,000 channel points. Unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemptions, and you'll be able to join us. Alrighty, hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day. Take care.